Hello everyone, uh, Jocelyn here again and uh, I just want to make some really simple fast overview before we starting and as you know in our Unreal Engine project file we have uh, uh, folders which contain a different Mac assemblies, kids, characters and Mac Hero. In the previous tutorial I already showed you some Mac Hero and showed you how to work with the blueprints which we prepare for you. In this tutorial we will talk about the material, the principles, how to work with the master instance material. We we'll talk about how to make your own blueprint assets with parenting and I show you how to bring your blueprint assemblies onto a sequence timeline. So let's start talk about the material. If we go to our Make Hero folder, we can see here some uh, folders which contains some different parts. And uh, five parts is mean uh, the our Make Hero fly contains inside him all of these parts. Uh, if we bring this guy into the scene, or it isn't necessary to bring we can just double click here and you can see inside this guy we have a really different type of material and if he, if we want to change the color for all of this part we need to go to this material for example find it and uh, open after that turn on this color tint object and uh, then we can just change here yeah? and we can see the some parts it's uh, really changed here yeah? but what we need to do if we want to change all of these parts in the same time we need to bring inside of all of this guy some dependent yeah the main dependent inside of these guys it's uh, our parent material which names is instance material, material gray yeah and uh, what we need to do we need to go back to our uh, <laughs> pinky material which I did uh, we need to turn off all of these color adjustment uh, parameters and we need to go back to the um, instance master which I created for all of this guy and applied inside of parent slot yeah we need to open this um, instance master and after that I can change this color tint object and uh, it will work for all of this guy yeah we need to press ok yeah and uh, right now if we go back to the to the fly parts folder we can see all of these pieces change uh, their color for to be sure all of i said before it's clear for you we need to make some of the assemblies from scratch and we need to go to the kit folder go to the connectors and take this guy this one and go to the limbs part we need to take this guy and go to the gears and take this one yeah uh, after that we need to combine combine it somehow probably it can be some of the robo arm or something like that or robo leg it doesn't matter i just want to show you the main principles how to how to work with uh, our kits into unreal engine and how to combine it into the one blueprints and set up our blueprints set up the material and uh, uh, set up the parenting inside the blueprints yeah so before we start to work with the material uh, and the first things we need to change the material dependent uh, we need to we need to copy 
these three parts into another folder uh, and uh, C or control C and I think I create a new folder which is named uh, Robo Arm inside this folder mm, yes Robo Arm through V Last one, control C and control V. Yeah. Now we need to copy the first thing we create the materials. Arm. And we need to find the what kind of material uh, inside inside of the each one and make the copy go to the folder control C control V also for this guy control C control V and for the last one control C control V and the last material we need to copy, which we need to copy, it's um, the instance master material. And we call it instance master or instance material robo arm. That's it, yeah. And now we need to apply to the parent slot this instance material for each uh, for this each uh, materials so how we can do we can do is just copy paste and uh, we need to open this guy and paste and now if we change change the parameters for this material for example make it like this all this material we change together and uh, all we need it's apply inside of this slot this material one two and three so as I said before we did it because we need to control together all of these pieces we need to control for color adjustment together for all of these pieces yeah uh, but if you want to change uh, independent some of these uh, pieces and color for example for these limbs we just need to go to the material find it yeah and change uh, for example uh, the Pinky, maybe you don't don't want to be. It should be pinky. You can make it some, uh, maybe yellow, yeah, and uh, yeah. But if you start to change this guy to another color, it also affect on these limbs because we put inside of this material our instance master robot, yeah. If you don't want to affect for these uh, limbs your material, you just need to change this parent material and uh, you just leave it inside here and uh, uh, it will not affect for all of this part, yeah? So, yep, it's the main principles how to work with the instance master, how to work with the materials inside Unreal Engine project uh, and Max Quad. Uh, and, the, and, th and the next step, I want to show how to create the blueprints with uh, uh, parenting inside to Unreal Engine. So uh, let's start. All we need is to choose these parts, 
go to the blueprint and convert selection to the print class. After that, we call it uh, robarm. Arm. Select and uh, yep. Yeah. After that, we need to make a parenting between all of these pieces. And I want to make the main part which will be in our blueprint. It should be uh, this connector, yeah. And inside of uh, this guy, we should have this one. And inside of uh, this guy, we need to have gear stuff. And after that, inside of gear stuff, we need to have our limbs. So yeah, right now, all of this uh, robot arm work correctly. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we need to press on the compile and save. Uh, now we have a robo arm blueprint and it will be better if I will move it into the robo arm folder just yeah. So let me discover another issue about the pivot point inside a blueprint. For example, if we press on the edit robo arm blueprint and uh, if you we wanted to bring inside of this blueprint this guy and we can see the pivot point it's in the wrong place here yeah? don't worry we can fix it uh, all we need is just to add the component which name is the uh, arrow and now we need to put this arrow into the correct places and after that put inside the arrow our limbs yeah and now we have a correct pivot point and all work is perfectly let's jump into the sequencer timeline all we need is uh, create our level sequence if it's necessary to create some folder, let's name it uh, Cinemagic and save our sequence. We need to drag and drop our robot on the timeline and then we need to choose what kind of part of this blueprint we need to animate. For that we just to choose I want to animate for example this connector and this limbs part we need to press on the plus track and choose the connector and choose the limbs and after that we need to choose what kind of component we need to animate I want to animate the transform for each one yes we are already turn on the bottom which allow to add the animation key automatically and uh, we just only turn on this animation for transform and then we move our slider on the timeline and uh, if we change the position for our robot arm it put all the on the timeline automatically the keyframe animation and uh, yeah it's the main principle is how it's work or how, how you can work with the blueprints which we prepare for you it's just to allow you to make some really simple animation movement so yeah it's uh, the main principle main principles how to work with the sequencer i showed you how to work with the materials and how create your own blueprint with parenting and i hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for watching and see you